Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Unreal's free content for the month. Now, I actually made this video yesterday, but things have changed. So if you're seeing a lot of videos and there was an extra item, then you might be wondering why that is. And well, let's take a look at what it is today. So yesterday there were five items. Now you can see there's clearly four. So I'm going to go run over each of these items as well as I'm going to go over the item that was there yesterday. So what I highly recommend that you do is as soon as you're listening to this video, I recommend downloading all these right now. You want to download things before they disappear and you do have a month to download these but sometimes things get taken away like this one here. So let's talk a little bit about why these are so awesome and why you should use them. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this generic radial uh, menus here. Now um, as you probably know and have played games you've probably seen these menus before and these are actually really hard to make. Um, and well, I shouldn't say that they're really hard to make. It's that they're a little bit more complicated because anytime you deal with a circle, anytime a circle is involved, you have to do a little bit of math. And that math is, isn't always intuitive. So this is a very, very good um, asset pack that I highly recommend that you use. And by the way, you can check out Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. Um, and this channel will do a little bit more tutorials on Unreal. So I highly recommend going there and uh, just search Mammoth Interactive on YouTube and then like and subscribing there uh, just because um, this topic is or this channel is for more for high level uh, information the more tutorials are on the Mammoth Interactive side so I highly recommend that you download this here it's got a lot of really cool things like um, it, well, the coolest thing I think that it has is that joystick and mouse support and I'm assuming that the joystick means a gamepad joystick uh, just because you can see that there's Xbox One and PS4 um, compatibility there. Now I'm assuming that is also going to be for the next gen consoles as well once support comes out. Okay, So that's the first one. The second one that I'm going to talk about is this root motion extractor. Now this one here uh, is if you're a pro user and have been using you, uh, Unreal for a long long time this will be really good and what this essentially does is this allows you to take the animations and uh, out of a animation that you get and tweak them. And this is something that's really good for when you're about to finish your game. If you're just starting a game, this isn't really that useful. Uh, but once you um, are finishing your game and you want to just tweak an animation to your uh, to your specifications, this is really good. So I highly recommend uh, downloading this because sometimes you might get a generic animation and you might think it's too fast or too slow or you want the arm to move in this one particular way. Well, this is the um, uh, well, this is the tool for you. Okay. Next up, we're going to be talking about the trucks and trailers. All right. So this is a really good uh, pack here. Now, one of the things I highly recommend that you do is just download these. There are free after all. And the reason I highly recommend that you download them is because if you don't need trucks today, you might need them tomorrow. And if you don't need to make a game with trucks, you might have trucks in the background. And since these are modular trucks, you can, well, have a whole truck yard. You can make a first person shooter in, for example, a truck depot. Like that's a very good setting that you could make a game in. And you can see um, that, you know, you could just use these trucks here. And these trucks are fairly good. And what's even cooler about these is if you look at it, it has the interiors of them as well. So if you really want to make a trucking game, um, this is um, the pack for you. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you can check out some of the videos here. Uh, it has uh, all of these items here. It's pretty good. Highly recommended. Okay, next one here is the tropical jungle pack. Now, jungles are very hard to do. Now, if you've ever been to a jungle or a tropical jungle, you'll know that there is a ton of detail. Now, a lot of times you'll see the vegetation be in a mountain region. The reason is, is that you know, there's a little less foliage in the mountain uh, region, and that's why it's a little easier to do. Uh, but if you look, um, these this is this does jungles very well. So if you have a game that needs a jungle, or if you're using a cutscene in a jungle, this is the pack for you. It's quite good, um, and if even if you need this just for background, like let's say you have a temple game and you need this for the background, then you can add that in here. So there's a lot of really cool features in this, and you can see all of the items here. It comes with a bunch of different trees. Um, even if you are, um, are making a game, uh, for example, and you need a house with a palm tree or some kind of other tree, you can use some of these here. 
Um, there's a bunch of different items uh, here. And one of the things I highly recommend that you download the, these for is for sometimes there are materials, which you can see that there are materials at the bottom here. And also a waterfall. Okay, waterfalls are actually really difficult to do. And the more waterfalls you have, uh, the more likely you'll find one that can fit your game. Okay, the last one um, uh, is, uh, but actually before that, you can see that you can uh, take a look at the content here. Okay, last one is this Medieval Kingdoms here. Currently, it is free, but it's not, as you can see in this free for the month here. So I'm not sure what happened there. Nevertheless, let's take a look at this. This is a very highly detailed uh, asset pack, and it's all modular, uh, which I'll get to in a second here. But if you need a somewhat stylized kind of World of Warcraft type aesthetic, um, this is a great um, asset pack for you. So you can see that there is uh, there is actually quite a bit of um, of things in here, and it's fairly good. Um, so let's take a look at some of the, the houses here. So there's quite a bit of houses and um, and and buildings here. And you can take a look at some of the um, of all the modular packs here. Now, one of the things I really like downloading all these um, all these packs for are the trees. Um, I can never have enough trees personally. Um, you know, even if you're making a game where that game uh, has a certain tr amount of trees in the background, but you want to funnel the player in a specific way. We can change the style of the trees um, or change the trees up just to kind of give the player uh, some guidance, some nonverbal cues, and some non, um, well, basically just some cues to just follow a certain path here. So you can maybe change the style up, and sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't here. But if you look at these, there is a lot of modular packs uh, here, and it's actually quite awesome. Um, and it also has some custom shaders, which shaders really make um, make and break um, aesthetics, right? So you can see here, uh, and I'm not sure if I'm looping around already, um, but uh, you can see that there's quite a bit of, uh, of items here. Yeah, I was not looping around because it stops at the end. But, you know, even if you need a treasure chest or a lamp or, so or like even these fences here, I highly recommend downloading it. And download it before it becomes paid again so the whole point of these free assets is that you can use them and if you look at mine right uh, if I look at my library here um, you can see that uh, well I have a bunch of them uh, that I use all right now um, before we end this video uh, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel also you can go to the mammoth interactive channel to get some more tutorials on the unreal engine so if you look at this here I have like a FPS YouTube tutorial and they come out periodically um, I have a, a collection game and I'll be making more of these as I go along and of course if you really like this channel you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content we have monthly and yearly options and we release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month this is the best way to learn um, anything from Unreal Engine to Blender to machine learning web development and more so we're constantly releasing um, content on this platform on our e-learning site it's a very good deal it really helps with this channel and our goal is to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers if we get to 10,000 monthly subscribers uh, the company that uh, that I'm building Mammoth Interactive is going to be an amazing e-learning company even more so than it already is all right thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video